Uh, good morning. My name is Kevin Daniels, and uh, I'm the Fix Hardware guy. Uh, my goal today is to talk about uh, mechanical uh, wedge um, or stud type bolts. Um, there's quite a few manufacturers. This product's made by my company, Fix Hardware. Um, it's stainless steel. Uh, it uh, it involves a threaded, <clears throat> obviously on one end, uh, stainless. Um, rod stock with a taper on the other end and um, a two-piece uh, sleeve that kind of floats on that taper. As this is driven into the hole, um, the dimples on this sleeve actually are what are going to make impact or make contact with the hole and stay in place. So we drive this into the hole. As we tighten down the nut, it draws the stud out of the hole and um, these sleeves actually um, expand um, as the taper pushes them against the sides of the hole. So it's a, it's a pretty pretty simple standard design. That's one of the things I like about it, the simplicity. Um, there's not a lot going on. Um, structurally, uh, it's a super solid um, design. The threads on these fixed bolts are pressed on. Um, they're not turned on as you would a normal thread. And uh, it allows for um, a super high quality, um, consistent uh, thread. This, um, this is a really good bolt. It's 304 stainless steel. Um, I really prefer, and I use this bolt, usually the shorter model. Most all the bolting I do is in granite, and um, I, uh, I like to do my bolting on lead. And a stud type bolt, um, you'll find if you do do some lead bolting, is you know, you'll climb into a stance and uh, you'll drill your hole, you'll hand drill it, or you'll use a power drill. Um, a lot of times I'm still holding on to stuff. Maybe I've got a hook or something, but chances are I'm, I'm somewhat scared. And so I'm holding on to this hole or I'm holding on to a hold. I've really only got one hand to work with. And um, this bolt, um, because of the design, you can, actually, you can actually slip it up into the hole and it'll stay in place and stay there while you find your hammer um, and drive that thing in. Whereas... Uh, most of the five piece bolts, the power specifically, you've got to use two hands. You got to hold the thing in place as you drive it in. And that gets like a little sketchy when you're gripped that you're going to fall off the thing. Um, so let's place this bolt. First thing we want to do, the sun's kind of killing me here, so I have to excuse me, is put some eyewear on or sun protection. Uh, we want to work with a, um, a sharp drill bit, 3 8 inch, so we want to check that. The shoulders of the bit are going to uh, dictate the diameter of the hole. So as this bit wears, the shoulders um, on the carbide shoulders are going to wear down. The hole is going to get tighter. We're wanting to make sure our our, uh, our bit's in good shape, and that's really going to dictate, um, you know, uh, a lot of the a lot of the placement qualities of this bolt. We don't want to have to hit it too hard to get it to go into the hole. Um, a lot of the questions and calls I get every day are in regards to, um, you know, I'm having a hard time. Uh, getting this bolt in the hole and usually what we find through the conversation and it's one of the reasons why I like to have conversations with people every day and I've been hesitant about doing these videos um, is uh, that the hole's too small they've been using their bit too long they're not sure how many holes it's drilled their friend gave it to them um, in good quality stone you can go through bits relatively quickly so on that note, let's drill a hole here. We kind of found that this is our silo. We've already checked to make sure that our silo doesn't have any cracks and fissures. This area we're bolting in is solid. Um, but we've got some metal running through our silo here. So we're going to place something up in here. stud bolts <clears throat> wedge bolt stud bolt we want to make sure that we're we're, we're drilling our holes <clears throat> at least a half inch longer than the overall length of the bolt we're placing because once we put this thing in the hole it's not going to come out so worst case scenario as long as the holes longer excuse me the holes deeper than the, <clears throat> the overall length of the bolt we can always pound this thing in you know, take a um, 
a nail set or um, you know one of our heading tools and uh, drive this into the hole and we can cover that hole and we can kind of make this thing go away. Um, that's the one downside of this bolt is that um, <clears throat> it's not ever coming out of the hole. So uh, drill your holes, uh, as I said, deeper than the length of, uh, of the bolt. Go ahead and assemble this <clears throat> unit. We got a 3 8 inch diameter bolt. We got a hanger with a 3 8 inch hole in it. We got a stainless steel bolt. We got a stainless steel hanger. Don't mix the metals. Plated steel with plated steel, stainless steel with stainless steel. Again, with this stud, it's really important that when we're driving this in, we're only making contact with the end of this stud. We don't want to hit the nut. So what I normally do is tighten the nut down quite a bit. Make sure I'm just hitting the end of the stud. Drive it in all the way. Get my hanger orientated. And then back the nut out or off a little bit. Drive it in a little bit more, but be careful that you're not hitting the nut. If you hit the, hit the nut, you can compromise and weaken the threads. Damage the threads, and then um, some of our, uh, our strength, strengths are going to change. This concrete these are old silos they used a lot of rock when they poured this concrete so it's real hard but it's not as consistent as most uh, granite's gonna be but that said sandstone limestone um, you're going to get some inconsistency. So it's actually a pretty um, realistic um, alternative to bolting and drilling holes in some of the rocks around here, which I didn't want to do. Um, orientate your hanger, you know, to, uh, to take the load in the proper direction. And then start tightening this guy down. Again, throw your torque wrench on it. And with this particular bolt, uh, Fix Hardware wants 25 foot pounds on this guy. So there you have it. We've checked the, <clears throat> the area that we're bolting in. It's solid, no cracks, no fissures. Um, we've uh, drilled our hole, three eighths inch in diameter. We checked our bit. Um, we cleaned the hole out well. Um, we drove the bolt in. We were careful not to hit the nut. We tied it down to the proper um, manufacturer specification for the torque, 25 foot pounds. Um, should be ready to go. Uh, if we wanted to remove this bolt, one of the nice things about these studs, it's pretty easy to remove this nut and washer. We could turn it into an anchor if we wanted to. Uh, or, if need be, as I said, we can go ahead and drive this in and using a, uh, a punch or a nail set or a tool for our copper heading, or in this case, this SDS bit, we can drive this in. 
we needed to, we could take a little bit of epoxy or something, clean this or cover this hole, you know, use a little bit of sand in it and make this thing go away. So um, it is important to um, make sure that we uh, drill the hole deeper than the overall length of the bolt, um, regardless of what type of bolt we're placing. Here's another sleeve bolt we placed earlier. I'm going to work on this guy. Get that guy pounded in. And uh, that is kind of the, uh, the gist for a wedge type bolt. Um, this would uh, apply to a Powers, um, to a Hilti Quick Bolt, to, um, you know, Tapcon. There's a bunch of different manufacturers out there. Um, choose your length of bolt, you know, kind of based on the quality of the stone. Hard stone, granite, anything, you know, of decent quality. A shorter, a shorter bolt's going to work fine for you. Um, the length of the bolt is not going to necessarily increase your uh, strength structurally. Um, pounding more metal into the hole is not going to increase your tensile or your pull-out strength um, if you're dealing with, with quality stones. If you're dealing with softer stones, um, you are going to want to go to a longer bolt, maybe something um, with multiple expansion sleeves. I thought I had one here. Um, or uh, a larger diameter. They make uh, larger diameter um, wedge bolts just like they do sleeve bolts. <clears throat> this fixed product has two expansion sleeves on it and this was designed specifically for um, lime, limestone, sandstone applications, pocketed rock. Um, this, this old silo here um, with as much pocketing and pitting uh, as it has would probably be um, a good applicant for this type of a bolt. Yeah, either way, um, thanks for your time. Have a good day.